Renting movies with iTunes has always been a little annoying, but with yesterday's iTunes 12.6 update, Apple addressed one nagging issue that makes the experience much better. iTunes 12.6 brings about a new Rent Once Watch Anywhere feature, so if you rent a movie on your Mac, you can watch it on your iPad, your iPhone, or your Apple TV. Previously, rented movies were restricted to the device that you rented it on. But with iTunes 12.6 and the latest iOS and tvOS betas, that is no longer the case. Now, keep in mind that you will have to be running iOS 10.3 for this to work on your iPhone or iPad, and that's currently in a public or developer beta. And for this to work on the Apple TV, you'll need to be running tvOS 10.2, and that's currently only in developer beta. The good news is that these software updates should be releasing publicly soon for all users, so stay tuned for that. So I rented this movie here on my MacBook Pro and previously I would have been restricted to watching this on my MacBook Pro only, but now with these latest updates, I can go out to my iPhone, open the TV app, you can see under library, my rental shows up. So I can watch this rental, resume it, pick it back up right from my iPhone after watching it on my Mac or vice versa. If you've ever in the past rented a movie on your Mac and wanted to you know, take it with you on the go, watch it on your iPhone, or even watch it on your Apple TV, you know how frustrating that could be to not be able to do that, to have that restriction imposed. Now that restriction has been removed, which makes the idea of renting movies a lot more palatable. Now here's my iPad Pro running iOS 10.3. I can open the TV app, resume right where I left off, but watch what happens here, something interesting. It's gonna say, hey, you, you need to stop watching on your other device first before you can pick up here. So I need to go back to my iPhone, tap done, and now I can actually play the movie. So just something to keep in mind there. But as you can see, it does pick right back up, just like that, folks. So let's head over to our Apple TV now, and you can see that my movie appears automatically in the top shelf, already queued to the specific spot. So let's go ahead and launch the movie here. And something a little interesting, it says, hey, you have 24 hours. It's almost like I'm watching it for the first time, even though I've already started watching it on other devices and it will still pick up right where I left off. So I don't know what's up with that, but it is working properly and it resumed the movie right where we left off. So ladies and gentlemen, what about you? Will Rent Once Watch Anywhere prompt you to rent more movies? Let me know in the comment section and leave me a thumbs up if you appreciated this explanation. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.